Howdy folks, today we're playing Chandra's Big Red and March the Machine Standard here. And this deck was built by M Balrog 6. And it's a it's a big red built around burning deck built around burning your opponent um to death with with spells like lightning strike and play with fire along with ke uh cards that take advantage of that. So like Kenner spell here gets prowess for each instant of sorcery or non-creature spell you you play and you attack for more that way. You get cast of flame breather that get, deals the damage uh for each non-creature spell you cast. You also have Sulfin, which doubles the amount of non-combat damage due to an opponent. Uh, you have Koth, which can get you more mountains to cast more and more spells. Um, Chandra can double all your instants and sorcery spells. There's also, you know, there's a lot of two-mana spells in this deck that you can cast right off uh, of the Chandra, which is pretty cool. Like Chandra, turn, tap, lightning strike, or play with fire. It's a, it should be a pretty good, um, good route to go there. I do want to make just a tiny bit of adjustments to this deck before I play it. I think 22 lands is a little light, so I want to go up to 24. And to do that, I think I should I should cut a, a singularity and a call on the professional, just so that way we can you know constantly hit our lands. Um, just just small just a small tweak there. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, that's that's generally the the plan. Uh, burn our opponent out, see if Big Red can work in, in this standard. So shout out to M Balrog Six for creating the deck, and let's get into it. Alrighty, opponent's going first. Mm, I'll keep this. Turn to play. Planes go for our opponents, probably. Or you got a little something for me. Got like a recruitment officer. Nothing. Mountain go for us. What could be keeping up priority with one planes? They could just be on full control, or they could have the card that gives everything hexproof. Your creatures hexproof and indestructible to end of turn. Probably what they have. Protection from red. Okay. All right, spell seer time. Go ahead and pass that turn. Next turn we get to Kessig and play with fire or something. Bankbuster, sure. Chandra's not bad. Yeah, I think I'm gonna Chandra. That way I can plus play with fire the farmhand and still get into some damage. I'm not really sure what. Listen, pal, I'm with the gate watch, so you might as well. They want to protect this farmhand. I mean, that's fine. Aww, you're looking a little... We're fine if they want to protect that. Still have trample, but I think we would keep back to block the Chandra. Actually, I don't know. I think we'd still attack. Yeah, we're getting in here. So our opponent. Needs a creature with three power to crew this bank buster to kill our Chandra. See if they can find it. Now do they have a spell here? Looks like they don't, okay. Alright, tackle the spells here. See what my opponent does. Okay, I'd be happy to trade here if they want. But all damage that black under red sources would deal to creatures you control this turn. So that's a red source. We still have to kill the mentor. So we were right about having this surge. We baited our opponent into using it, thankfully. So we're going to get our damage through. So mid zero, because they have hexproof from it. But we'll get this Kessig Flame Breather down either way. Wandering Emperor, okay. So they're gonna tick up on the 2-2 two -two and then attack the Chandra maybe? Or, oh, they're just gonna exile our Kenra. Okay. Well, now we can plus the Chandra to kill their Wandering Emperor. Okay. 
All right, let's attack. See if they block. Okay, they do block. I think that means we're just going to bust the Chandra up, deal one here. Play this soul fim. Pass the turn. Hmm, I should have kept the mountain in hand, actually. Yeah, that was on me, because now if they wrath the board, I'm just going to lose. Yeah, yeah, that's a, you got to play perfectly and to win with this deck, probably, and I just didn't, so they probably can wrath here. Farm hand, okay, sweet. That's We're fine with that all day. They'll lay down arms. Okay, we weren't getting through that anyway. No punishing there. And they're going to go ahead and draw. First time they've been able to draw with the Bank Buster. Got to play with fire. And just call on a professional. Which I think that's what we're going to do. Just pay the mana. Get the call on a professional. Select that to cast, target here, deal one damage to any opponent, bring him to 10. Attack. Yep, they're gonna block. We're gonna do damage to them, bring him to eight. Cast a turn. You are lucky this is a warning shot. What they wanna do here? Elish and Norn. Okay, let's see what we can hit here. So next turn, oh, I guess we could have ultimated this turn, but I was thinking we want to keep it alive. So next turn, we can exile the top five cards of your library, cast red spells from among them, get an emblem, yada yada. Okay, pass turn. All right, gotta plan on blocking the Chandra. Block and keep the Chandra alive. They shouldn't have, I guess they could have ossification, but they would have used that last turn. Looking for ossification, okay. Did they find it? Can't ac activate the Alice Norn yet either. Lay down arms, okay, they have another removal spell. I know I got a chump block. Sure. Okay, I'll pay. Bank Buster again, okay. Alright, minus seven here. See if we can get some red spells. Chandra's Hope, Chandra Hope's Beacon. Okay, so we can... We can cast only one of these things. We could kill the Alish Norn if we wanted to. I mean, I think we just have to play this Chandra's Hope, Hope's Beacon. Deal six to them. We're going to take the two damage, but I think that's fine. We're gonna plus here. Light up the darkness. Or we could just. Oh, we could just minus. Five. It's to Elish Norn and our opponent. That's right. I always forget that Chandra has the minus five ability to just kill them. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, how about we just kill them? That works too. <laughs> oh, GG's. Dang. I always get I always get flummoxed by the Chandra's ability to just go face. It just doesn't seem like the card should be able to do that, but it's just so good. It just does that. GG's. Alrighty, opponent's going first. I'll keep this. Got a soul fim and a bunch of burn. Your opponent's up too. See if they're susceptible to this strategy. A cophony scamp. Okay. 
When he does combat damage to a player, may sacrifice it, proliferate. Yep. It's a goblin deck. Okay. Just kill this Horde Master then. It still gets rid of... Gets rid of one damage this turn. They can't cast that. Okay. All right, a little bit of a goblin's deck. A little bit of some gobos. See if we can beat that. Got a lot of removal spells for the gobos. Squee, okay. Definitely will kill that here. Probably the lightning strike. I don't know how many three health goblins there are, so I think just playing our spells out is probably the best course of action in the most mad efficient way possible. That's the turn. Should have this time. Reckless impulse, sure. What is this? Exuberant fusing. Okay. When it enters the battlefield, and whenever another creature artifact controls, put in the graveyard from the battlefield, put an oil counter on it. And it can proliferate if you want. Okay. I think we're fine to take the one damage here. I think we'll just kill this now. Go to my turn. Untap, play a soul him. Now we have a good blocker. <clears throat> if they attack, I don't think we're going to block, though, because don't want to get lightning struck. If we can get this indestructible, I will feel pretty good about where we're at eventually. They just want to burn two removal spells right now. I think we're fine with it. Strangle. Oh, wow. Okay. That was pretty good. That's the turn. See if they try to bring the squee back or what's going on. Too many. Hopefully they keep hitting land, just like we keep hitting lands. Okay, they are going to come back with a squee, sure. Alright, we'll try to kill it. They got good value out of the squee, though. This cacophony scamp is getting in on us. Let's, let's draw something relevant here. Chandra Dressed to Kill. I like the look of that one. Exile the top card. See what kind of madness we get. A little mountain, okay. That's a turn. Now our opponent has to decide if they want to kill a Chandra or not. Strangle. Man. Okay. It's a pretty good draw. And another squee. Well, we can kill it, but we are... We're out of spells now, and we got to keep drawing well. We've had, hit a lot of lands. People can avoid hitting another land. Come here, spells here. Okay. I think I'll just go ahead and activate this now. Trample Ward 2, double prowess. I'll block. They want that in the graveyard. I think we're fine with that. Trading out there. Gotta get rid of their spells eventually. They can't exile this yet. Urabrask. Okay. <clears throat> Urabrask. Alright. Let's find some instants and sorceries. Like a reckless impulse would be good. Squee. Okay. Well, we're blocking here. They're going to be able to bring back another Squee next turn. I was thinking they might just do it then. Man, we're hitting all the lands. We're going to flood out. They're also going to Squee us again. And decide to not do it. Okay. Flame Breather. Pass the turn. Reckless Impulse. Land Kumano. Yeah, they're just going to find the burn necessary to get us eventually. They're gonna squee again. Siding against it. Adversary. We can get back a play with fire, I suppose. Ah, 
Okay, we'll auto pay. We can get back this call on the professional. Or we can get back the adversary. We can get back the uh the fire to deal two damage to them and scry. I think the scry is pretty valuable here. We'll scry here. Deal some damage to them. Take the Chandra, certainly. Attack with the 4-4. Four, four. Two opponents in the market to block. Doesn't look like they are. Alright, pass the turn. So now they can squee. If they drew a blank, we have a chance, though. Both of us have hit a lot of lands. Alright, squee time. So we can block here. Block the 1-1, one, one, take 2. Oh, good game. We drew the Devastator. Dang, yeah, I mean... They were able to find that strangle exactly for our Chandra on time, and it all kind of just lined up perfectly against what we had. Shoot. Well, it was close. GG's. All right, we're going first. I'll keep this. See what our opponent's up to here. Magic of Arena Sleeves. Swamp. Duress. All right, Lightning Strike's gone. They know what's coming on. I think we just want to get our damage going here with the adversary. Here's Outlook. Uh, some sort of Jun deck then? They do gain a life. Green, black. Back our opponent. Do they want to cut down here? If they do, then I'll play the spells here. Yep. Pass the turn. Do you want to do here? Liliana would be bad. Borak, okay. Definitely not as bad. Alright. Just play the soul fim. Pass the turn. Next turn I have Play with Fire to deal double damage if they can't kill my Soul Fim. Soul of Wind Grace. They do have the Riveteers outlook to get back, okay. Tag the Soul of Wind Grace. Tag with both. Our opponent does want to block. Okay. I thought we'd get them on a no block there because, well, quite simply, it didn't feel like they were going to try to block uh, because they could just have lost their Vorak for free. But I guess they're going to block anyway. I don't know. All right, attack. Yep, they want to block, that's fine. Pass the turn. What do they want to discard here? Nothing. Does that mean they have a Sheldred? They have two removal spells? Just one removal spell is probably not good enough. All right, hit them with a play with fire. I discard both of these. Do they have another removal spell? They had exactly two. No, okay. Scry that to the bottom. Now we have indestructible. That's something. Attack with my 5 4. Alright. Indestructible soul film. That, that is definitely something. I'm gonna draw. Pass the turn. All right, let's see if we can hit some more damage. Like a lightning strike would maybe close them out. Let's see what we can find. Another fable. All right, they might be able to block for a little bit. Talking Numa, they could have used that to get back a solo wind grace. Okay. Attack with a Sulfim. Imagine they got a block. 2-2, two, two, sure. Probably 
problem with these fables is they can just block Sulfim indefinitely. But at least we make them do that. Who throwing a discard now? Takanuma, Hand Swamp. They have several Takanumas in their deck. I guess they have a Soul of Wind Grace that's a legendary creature. Probably has some other legendary creature too. I'm just not privy to it. I can pay the ward here. Sure. Alright, play with fire. Gets us a long way towards killing our opponent. And I didn't want to copy it, okay. I can get into their life though. This deeper wayfinder with the river tears outlook, I kinda like that. I like that interaction, you can just ramp every turn. That's pretty good. Koth. All right, let's attack. Copy the one one. Sure. Yep, gets the block in. Flame breather. Pass the turn. They're gonna be able to gain this life every turn with their wayfinder, unfortunately. Hmm. That's pretty good. See what they find. Chandra Dress to kill. Probably some red cards in their deck. At least they have the at least the Inferno and Soul of Wind Grace, so it's probably something. They should be able to find a sheltered here, I would imagine. Yep. Yeah, we're kind of getting buried here. Just couldn't find enough damage to close our opponent out on key turns. Got close, but didn't quite get there. Goth just doesn't do enough damage. If it, you know, if it dealt damage to anybody, not just creatures, I think, you know, we would have definitely have won last turn, but that's not how the card works. Let's bring things up to a simmer. They're gonna flip the Sheldred. That's a destroy effect, right? Yeah. To destroy effect. So we're gonna be able to gain one more life. Hmm, yeah. They might be out of basics, maybe not though. Nope, still have some basics left. Go up to nine. Visions of Phyrexia. Yeah, that's just not enough. Well, we almost got there. Couldn't couldn't quite get there. Imagine we're dead next turn. I um, mean, I guess is it possible we live one more turn and then we flip like two lightning strikes divisions? Okay, that's possible. I guess we're not dead yet. No attacks. Plan a block. Try to flip two lightning strikes this next turn. Alright, those cards would not have helped us win the game. Alright, okay, I guess we need... How many lightning strikes do we have left? We have one gone. Two gone. Alright, we do have two gone. Oh, what in the world just happened? Well, they proliferated. And their sheltered went off. And they were able to get it back. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that when it 
the two scriptures go off. Oh, they finally had another shelter in the yard. Okay, no, you don't get it back. All right, well, I thought we had a chance. I'm still going to play this out to see if I would have drawn the two lightning strikes, but the Vorak giving them proliferate on that really did change the, the math there. Cool stuff our opponent's got going on. I like this deep brew wayfinder. I might have to might have to steal some of the stuff our opponent's doing in here. Spell seer and hope speaking. Dang. Didn't get there, but fun match. GG's. Alrighty, opponent's going first, and I like the look of this. I'm liking what we have going on here. Blackleaves Cliffs Pass. We have a play with fire. We'll probably use describe for a land. Pass the turn. And on lightning striking our opponent or whatever creature they play. Shake down heavy. Oh, okay. Can't lightning strike that. Back with Simple. So hopefully hit a land here. Dude, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Next turn we can Koth kill the heavy. Fight rigging. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We didn't have any way to prevent this. Let's see what they hit. Hopefully a land. That would be ideal. Duress. They're going to take our Koth, probably. Could take Divisions. Koth doesn't kill their Shakedown Heavy anymore. I would take Divisions, probably. Yep. I think they made the right decision there. Take the damage. Play my mountain. I don't know if we can beat this shake down heavy, to be honest. I think it starts with this soul fim and then lightning striking them next lightning striking the shakedown heavy next turn. They have a removal spell here though, it's not looking good. Sure. Yeah. You have to let him draw for now. And then remove our soul fim. That's the that's the question. Harvester, okay. Doesn't look like they can, so that's good for us. Alright, get rid of the heavy. Nice. Pass the turn. Now we have this play with fire. They discarded an Atraxa. Fire Ringing Atraxa deck, okay. Shake down heavy, sure. Plus one, plus one in the Harvester. Alright, we'll kill the Harvester. Go to my turn. Play the Koth. Kill the heavy. Do I think they have any haste in their deck? I don't think they do, so I'm just going to attack. Not sure. It could be an underdog, I suppose. But if they just spend their turn blitzing an underdog, then it should be well set up just to attack them back, and they're pretty much on death's door at that point. Two harvesters, sure. Alright, grab a mountain. Retake this land from Phyrexia. So I could remove the artifacts. I don't know how good that is though. I could just wipe the board. But that gets rid of my Koth. All right, I'm going to attack. I'm going to play another Sulfim. Hand of Spells here. Make my opponent kill a Sulfim with the Harvester if they want. They couldn't kill the other one. I think this is fine if they want to do that. Leaves me with this Koth going. 
We can kill anything with the heavy or with the cough we want. Yep, 7 5. Chandra dressed to kill. Alright, let's cast this. Get a little prowess going. Excel with top card. Play with fire. I could cash in the Koth here. Kill the shakedown heavy. Play with fire, my opponent's face. Attack with a spell seer. From low. All right, I think that's what we're doing. My resolve never dies. Another tracks in the yard, sure. Catch this. Scribe bound to the bottom. Hit them to four. We have the spells here as well. See what they can do to prevent what we have. Cruelty of Gix. They can put an Atrax onto the battlefield. Okay. Can we find lethal through this? Okay. We need four damage. So we need lightning strike and then this Chandra plus kills them. I have some ways to make it work. They... If they untap with this attracts though, it's not looking good. Okay. So we can't kill them at all. Even if we just flip this and attack and any of that, it's not going to get it done. So I think we have to exile and hope to hit something good. Another Koth might help. No, Mountain... Definitely doesn't help. And yeah, man, we just, we had draws there. Couldn't find them though. GG's. All right, going first and nice aggressive hand. We'll keep this. Pass a turn. We can play with fire if we're feeling it or if they have a creature we want to kill. I think we're just fine passing though. Getting this Kenra spell seer going. That way we can get double trample or double prowess. And we're wastes. Sure. Scrap Gordier, yeah. That is fine. And kill the Scrap Gorger. Go ahead with a prowess. Play with fire our, our opponents. Make another play with fire. Attack for four. Bring him to 14. Okay. See what they have now. Briefcase, sure. It's impulse. Get a little prowess going. Mountain. Yeah, I'll cast the adversary too. Just start attacking. Could have a two mana removal spell here. Lock the 2 2 because it has trample here. That makes sense. Doesn't really matter what you block in that. Scenario. When it has played against some spells here, though, they just uh, they definitely snap knew it had trample. Okay, Boren Clark's gonna get some forest cards. We have a Solfim. All right, we'll go with Solfim and pass. Do they have a removal spell for their soul fem? They didn't look like they've had a removal spell for what we've had so far. Oh, they have a fight rigging. Okay, another fight rigging deck. I just... Okay, so this is some sort of attracts a fight rigging deck. And they're about to just attract to me. Stopper. Alright, that's much better than a fight rigging. I'll take that. Opponent, uh... Stopper will be turned on, though. This has trample, but I think that's fine. Explosive singularity.
All right, just gonna play the divisions. No attacks. We gonna stare at each other again? Another fight rigging. Yeah. Sooner or later, our opponent's gonna hit something huge and it's not gonna be good for us. As long as it's not an Atraxa, maybe we can live. Definitely could be an Atraxa. Both on a stopper. Okay, just a fable. Another way to kill our soul fim. That would be not ideal. I think we're just gonna pass here. I think we need everybody alive. The singularity in hand. Call in a professional. Okay. Attack the, here, hit, hit them with it. That's the turn. See what they have for us here now. Fable, discard two cards. So to cast an attract, it need blue and white. Could just be an Itali deck. It's probably more likely. We just need to prevent them from getting any kind of life. Sure. I mean, they're gonna get a lot of creatures. Oh, Titan of Industry. No, that's not what we wanted to see. He's certainly gonna gain life for the Titan. Okay, Titan, yep. Gain life and destroy an artifact. Or enchantment of his visions. Okay. Yep. So we can hit them down to six with this play with fire, or we could wait till our turn and Kessig Flame Breather and then play with fire. But I think we just need to find something relevant anyway. All right, take the six. I think this is our turn. We either win or lose here. We just have to play with fire them and see what we can hit. Sulfim, that's not good enough. What my turn? Mountain. Ugh. Also not good enough. Man. Good game. Couldn't quite get there. Got him to four. Got them to four, but that's not enough. Opponent can Diagraph Rebirth this Titan. Once they're at nine, don't know if we can win from there. Sheldred. Can they draw cards, though? We'll see. See if they can draw any. Yep, alright, they do have enough for the Titan still. Dang, GG's. Alrighty, and we're back. Uh, I th I'm going to change this deck up a little bit, or probably a lot, just into something I would more uh, I would more build if I was just setting out and trying to build a Big Red. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick, and I'll come back and talk about it. Alrighty, and we're back here with a different version of Big Red that I, I'm kind of interested in trying. Uh, we have 
uh, a lot of a lot of things changed. I'd say new cards. Uh, we still have the Chandra. Um, we also a- added some Nahiri's Warcrafting, which is a three mana uh, sorcery that deals five target creature planeswalker or battle. Look at the X top X card of your library where X is the excess damage, and you can play one of those cards uh, until the end of the turn, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then another new card is Volcanic Spite, which is two mana deal three damage to a creature planeswalker or battle. But you can put a card from your hand on the bottom of your library and draw a card. So if you know you're doing Koth and you have a bunch of mountain, it's a way to cycle uh, a card. So I, I kind of like that interaction in this specific deck. So I'm trying that out. You have a Tali, which is a huge seven mana dinosaur that lets you play your opponent deck and part of your deck and you can transform it. And it's just a massive creature when you transform it, um, which is pretty cool as well. And then in the mana base, I added Sakenzin. Um, went up to 25 lands since this is a, you know, more of a, Tali deck, you know, seven mana deck, um, and then some demolition fields and fielders ruins. Try to get uh, our opponents that are, uh, you know, going light on the on the mana. There, just get some percentage points with the mana base a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this is probably how I would build a uh, big red. So let's uh, see if it's uh, any better. Alrighty, opponents going first. I will keep this. We got some bank busting to do potentially, or some brotherhoods ending. All right, our opponent does cast frontliner eventually. All right, let's avoid Athalia here on the play. Turn two Thalia in a play against our our deck. It's not what we're hoping to find. Frontliner, okay. Triple frontliner, yikes. That's going to be tough as well. We're going to take a lot of damage next turn. We do have Volcanic Spite, though. All right. Pass the turn and try to use this Spite. They go to attacks, then I'll try to kill it. All right, yep. Just try to kill one of these frontliners. Resolute reinforcements, sure. It's an odd. Let's build a play now. Okay, get rid of the Chandra. I'd hopefully, finds. <laughs> okay, sure. And they have a anything to play for a blue mana? Wouldn't think so. I think Odawara is interesting. All right. See if they can get rid of that. Nope, they can't. All right. Swept their board. Now we can get a Koth going next turn. They just play like a Siege Veteran. Oh, they're just going to unearth some spells. It's only white mana they have. If they're just going to attack for one. Okay. Interesting. I think I probably should have played the Field of Ruin there, so that way I could keep this Sakenzin up for next turn, but we're probably fabling or bank busting next turn anyway. This Koth can kill something now, which I feel good about. Can't kill a Mirror, though, but... Combined with this strangle, I can kill it. Miradin, lend me your flame. Play this fable. Pass the turn. Next turn, we can Chandra and deal damage to each of up to two targets. They do have double white mana here to attack the Koth if they wanted to, but I would simply block one of them. They have triple white mana, I guess. Another mirror, sure. And they are gonna unearth. Will we get a free block? Okay. Seems interesting. This card, two cards. Not sure that we're gonna have enough time for that bank buster. Probably do better than this Chandra Dust to kill as well. Atali, nice. Deal four damage. Mural and your face. This is for everyone we've lost to fire. Get a mountain. Shape the earth itself. Attack here. Get a treasure. Next turn we have this Atali coming down. 
And safe to say, I think we've locked up this game here. If we lose from here, definitely our fault. They could kill the Chandra's Hope Beacon with this frontliner. I think that's probably their best best chance to get back into this game. But this Atali is going to be pretty big, but see if they can do beat it. Yep, frontliner. Chandra down, yep. All right, time for Itali. Strangle, I like to see that. Or is it play with fire? Okay, that's not as good. <laughs> I attack them, play the regular reinforcements, or not attack them, but play the play with fire on them. I don't think I want another mountain. Kill the Sky Strike Officer. Attack for two. Have a bunch of lethal ready for next turn. Imagine they board wiped me though. All right, brutal Cathar and the Itali. That's pretty good. That's what they wanted. That's where they want to be. And a valiant veteran. Okay. For sure. Well, I guess we're not going to copy that at all. Just going to make them go searching. how many basics they have this is our basic turn we have a lot of basics a lot of mountains in our deck we'll leave them with the Odawara do they have another planes they have an island to get okay we're the plaza now Mountain, yep. Well, it has successfully dealt with our Atali. If we can ever kill this Brutal Cathar, though, we're going to get the tri triggers back. And that is going to be nice. Alright, couldn't pass the turn. Now we can copy the Goblin to block this Brute. Yep, opponent knows that Koth is going to kill their Brutes. We're going to get the Atali back, and it's probably going to be all she wrote. GG's. We're going first. Can we keep this? Don't think so. We can keep this, though. Put one of these volcanic spites down. Got a nice little fable on turn three action. Lunark veteran. Okay. See how many of these little creatures they'll be running. This is just voice of the blessed. Does not look like it's just what it's going to be. Okay. A hopeful initiate. Sure. Well, I suppose this will be good enough for a Brotherhood's End next turn. Could try to Fable first. Is that even is that too greedy? Nah, I don't think that's too greedy. Try to Fable first. Conceal the fact that I have a Brotherhood's End. Try to get even more creatures. Nothing. Let's card two cards. I like what I have. I'll keep these. Play a Koth. Grab a mountain. Is our land. Attack our opponent. Get a treasure. A Ganjo, okay. It's fine with me. Ossification for the Koth, sure. I'm gonna hit this caves. I can make some tough decisions. I don't wanna get a swamp or anything. They even have it in their deck. Okay, it doesn't look like they have swamp in their deck. I will pass. We keep getting them to use removal spells on stuff. I think we'll be fine. Alright, so they, they 
have an Archangel for, for us here. That's why the Battlefield Forges and stuff are in the deck. That's fair. Alright, let's draw. See what we hit. Mountain. Sure. Chandra Hope's Beacon. Alright, Chandra time. Time to light up the darkness. We can red, red. I'm for a volcanic spite. It's both of this archangel. We're to the field of ruin. And I think we're fine with this. Fine with my current hands. That's the turn. They have another... No, they don't. Okay. Life link shirt. Now we'll have Nahiri's Warcrafting at them. Should be pretty nice. Target the Steel Seraph. I haven't had to use this Brotherhood Zen, which is kind of remarkable. Can we cast the Koth? We can if we plus the Chandra, so I suppose that's what we'll be doing. Oh. Or Field of Ruin. That's nice, too. Minus. Do one to both of these. Plus on the Koth. Get a mountain. Now we're in business. Luminous Phantom, yep. Two of those. Well, bad news for our opponent is we can just run this back. When I say burn, you burn. Yep, they're going to gain some life. That's fine. Plus with the Koth. Mountain time. I can get rid of the caves. Mountain, pass the turn. Ibeth draws an Archangel of Wrath, didn't find it. Now we're gonna be able to ultimate this Koth. Four damage to you. Another bank buster. Last exile, top five cards. Yep, nothing good there. That's fine. Pass the turn. Kayla's command. Sure. Opponent's still fighting a good fight. Scribe one of the tops. That's probably an Archangel of Wrath. So that means we probably want to find another Field of Ruin effect to get rid of that Battlefield Forge. Go to my turn. Another mountain. Deal four to this. Crew up. Attack here. I want to get both the planeswalkers out of range where they can die. I'll never forget the home we lost. Another mountain, that's fine. Another bank buster. Alright, we were just gonna mountain them out of the game, attack them with enough bank busters where it didn't matter. And there we go. GG's. Let's hit the wrap up. Alrighty, and we're back with Chandra's Big Red from Arch the Machine Standard End. Both versions of the deck I played, I think, are they're just okay. You know, they they have a chance to compete, but I think the big problem is. People are getting greedy. They're getting greedy in, in March the Machine's best of one standard. You run into a lot of decks that are like reanimating one with the multiverse and big creatures and stuff just really going over the top. So I think a bad time to play Big Red. Big Red is at its best when, you know, there's, there's a lot of aggro in and around. You can kind of stifle that. And there's some mid-range you can go over the top of with your Atali's. But if there's like super heavy control or mono blue or some of these uh, faster than you reanimator decks, don't think that's where you really want to bring this style of deck. So I think this deck has had the tools to compete. Uh, it just has to be a very specific portion of the metagame cycle. So once 
you know, the aggro comes back to sort of try to eliminate all these people being super greedy, then I think it's the time to play the big red deck. But until then, I think I don't think I can really recommend y'all playing this one. Um, probably gonna win if you're lucky just as much as you lose. Um, but other than that, you're probably going to lose more than you win if you just jam this deck. Um, there, it's possible that there are some mono red configurations that are specifically tailored to the meta. You can play like unlicensed hearse to get some stuff out of the graveyard if you really want to. Um, there, you know, there there are ways. Um, you can, you know, there are mono blue hate cards you could play that can't be countered. Like, you know, there are ways you can solve the problems at hand, but I think doing that thing, doing those things dilutes your deck too much towards the rest of the meta. I don't know. It's possible you can try those out and see um, how that works for you. And I think actually because you have those options, in a best of three meta, this deck might actually be a little bit better uh, since you can, you know, sideboard in some of those pretty good options against some of those other decks. Yeah, in interesting for sure. Um, hopefully uh, y'all enjoyed the video. Um, and, uh, yeah, as always, until next time, wherever you are, whenever you are, have a magical day.